my people, come and hear. Come and hear. Hmm. So prison is not meant for the poor and not for the rich. My love for very dark man keep on increasing every day by day. Finally, the Nyasha Bobby don't finally scatter at the internet and all those who, who are involved in what is going on at the moment. Kudos to you, the very dark black man, for what you have dig out at the moment. Nigerians, both home and abroad, and lovers of Nigerians, please make sure you watch this video to the very end to understand in detail what is going on. So Bob Risky never entered Kri Kri for one day. So Bob Risky paid his deals, paid his way out, and he never entered Kri Kri for any reason. Remember, Bob Risky was charged by the court to enter Kri Kri and spent, I think, three or six months. But Bobby never entered there. Now, the Nyash of Bobby, don't finally scatter. Watch this video to the very end, my people. Don't skip any part of this. And share with us your own thoughts at the comment section. Indeed, very dark black man, you are a great figure in Nigeria at the moment. God bless you and the work of your hands. Enjoy the rest of the video. Matter, don't really pass Matthias at this moment. Let me tell you guys, when you are doing something, you think you can get away with it. One day, your nyash go open. It go scatter. People go see, say, your nyash say no the clean and wear. Now, what's happened to Bobby and all those who connive with him to do what they have done, my people? Indeed, Kri Kri is meant for the poor in Nigeria and never for the rich. Enjoy the rest of the video so I can get your fat right. Rest, all right, in respect to Bobrisky, what I'm about to post now, um, a lot of names will be mentioned. Um, these are people that I also respect, and I believe a lot of Nigerians respect them as well. I am very, very disappointed in the agencies that are involved in this, and um, I believe that this call recording that I'm about to play, even Bob Risky will not expect it. <laughs> that is what is crazy. But all the people that will be mentioned, I don't care. You understand? I don't care. And from today, no longer respect for all of you. You understand? Because all of them are the same. And it's pretty obvious that in Nigeria, the law only work against the poor people. Do you understand? Now, after this video, I would expect that the EFCC would do a deep investigation on everybody that is involved in this case. And also, they will bring the whole officers that participated in this and collected and spent this money that is involved. Thank you very much. So I will start by playing um, the call. As you can see, it is a call. Listen. You know, I'm a very big influencer. I have over 5 million followers on my Instagram. So, my Facebook. And they're paying me uh, on my Facebook every month. So I'm okay. So they were like, yeah, all those money cannot still make me buy house of 450 million dollars and pay off. And where I'm staying in a Chevron, blah, 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 blah. The shop puts the money laundry shop. They charge me to court. So when they charge me to court, we have to beg them that, okay, if they want to remove the money laundry, how much would they collect? And so we should go and bring 50 million dollars that they will remove the money laundry. Now, this is one part of the video. A lot of things will be unveiled. First things first, you heard it from Bob Risky. Um, EFCC charged them, charged him 15 million naira to remove the money laundry charge that was charged against him. If you remember, when this case against Bob Risky starts, there was a money laundry charge, but from nowhere, they removed, they dropped the money laundry charge. So obviously, Bob Risky paid EFCC 15 million naira to remove the money laundry charge. It's crazy that EFCC claim that they are fighting against financial crime. Do you understand? But they are deeply involved in financial crime. So they remove the money laundry. Anyways, let's continue. There's a lot of things in this um, call recording. Up to my phone. I called my phone, you know, because I can't use my account. I wanted to send money from my account, but they said I'm still under investigation. I cannot withdraw from my account. So I now called a few of my friends. You know Polanco, LLA? Mm -hmm. That Polanco, yeah, is my biggest friend. So I called him. I told him. He was like, ah, no, I can't want to send the I can't want to send the He now gave me, I gave him my brother's account. He now sent eight million. Wait, you can't want to send the same year. Yeah, I was even shocked that that kind of amount of money. He said, "Ah, I'm a engineer. We should be a very nice person." So I called them all. They were in New York. He made my friends. Mm -hmm. They were sent one million naira because I had to call the people I'm close to, people I trust. I feel. They were sent me one million. Yeah, they were sent me one million naira immediately. Transferred one million naira to my account. Then I called other few people because I can't start making call because I, I don't know who sets me up. So let me not start calling the 
the wrong people. Do okay, you cool. understand? Sure. Yeah, so I call the people I trust. So the, the money she had completed, then you know, I paid. Then I removed money laundry. Then I took me to court for spraying of money. Okay. And I know that. The so you heard him. After I paid the money to EFCC, EFCC removed money laundry and then I removed that charge and took him for spraying money. Do you understand? So EFCC, you people collect money to drop charges. This is crazy. And these are the people that want to fight for financial crack. Tomorrow night, you're going to tell us you want to arrest Ayabelu. Are we sure that if you arrest him, you will not collect money for dropping charges? Wow. EFCC, this is crazy. But anyways, it doesn't end here. Let's continue. The old things, the old things started from, the old things started from when they gave me best female dress. You saw that video, right? That they gave me best female dress. Yes, that's yes, when the yes old I things did. That, yeah, yeah, that's when the old things started from, you know, jealousy, everything. Mm, so mm. we, shall, we shall go to court. I shall tell them that I'm guilty that, ah, Maybe go to evil pity me or say, oh yeah, pay fine. I know. Or go community service. Sadly, the court sentenced me. So, you know, I was on my way to the prison. Then my godfather called me and said, you will not enter that prison. Don't worry. Let me make arrangements for an apartment close to the prison. That uh, is going to call the, um, going to call the controller in my, that's overall in Nigeria and Abuja. And I'm talking to them. They shall talk before I come back, shall. Then I took me to one apartment that I must not come out till I finish my sentence. That's so fast. That they, um, that I that, that said they should come out. So that said they should come and keep me here. That I mustn't, um, I mustn't go, like, enter the table. Nobody should know that I'm not there. Yes. You know? So they said the guy will call him money. They wanted to give them seven. Wait, 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 wait. Who is this Bob Risky's godfather? that called the controller general of prison in abuja and instructed him that he should not let bobriski to enter prison and the controller general of prison now gave bobriski an apartment outside the prison do you understand an apartment outside the prison that he should act he should stay there and he will not enter the prison so bobriski didn't go to prison obviously basically the prison obviously is for the poor men and for the poor masses so this is how the EFCC come and lie to us. Say they don't prove somebody, they don't arrest one big man for financial crime. But they go no go arrest the man, they no go sentence him or carry him. Go give him one law somewhere and he no go enter prison. This is what is going to, going on in Nigeria. Do you understand? The law is only against the common and the poor man. Now the poor man they go prison. But but Brisky, one godfather somewhere. That godfather you go come out and the controller of prisons. The controller general of prisons. You have to come out and defend this. If not, me, I will continue rubbishing your name online. The controller general of prisons. So this is how they call you to remove prisoners, eh? After the court have sentenced the prisoner, you will remove them. But that's not all. Let's continue. My millionaire, I had to call Elele again. If there's nobody for me to call, Elele give me, uh, give me one, uh, two million, the balance of two million. So now the, so I'm supposed to come out in, um, I'm supposed to come out in what's it called? Ending of July next month. Okay. Twenty nine. Okay. His father is a is a son. So first reach out to me. His father spoke to me. His father said we can apply for pardon. Okay. That pardon, the president because he is Wait, first the bad guy. I can't even believe this. First the bad guy contacted Bobriski. And Femi Falano contacted his father. And his father, Femi Falano, spoke to Bobriski in order to divert justice. And this same Faust, if this story is true, this same Faust will have the audacity to come out and say he's fighting against the government for oppression. That he wants justice, he wants Nigeria to be better. So that like this, you then carry yourself. I don't want to believe that Femi Falano will bring himself down to this level. A whole Femi Falano will be Fela lawyer, where we respect. Femi Falano will engage himself in something like this. Wait, wait, what is the relationship between Faust and Bobriski? Have you Faust said they do? Oh, okay. Who are we to crucify the homosexual? Most of them are done, they evolve from time. Everybody is a motherfucking hypocrite, though. No, oh, now that song, they make sense to me. Wait, I be found self, they do. This is crazy. Well, anyways, let, let's continue. <laughs> hey, now, wow. Nigeria. It's federal that, uh, my, my, my case is federal. That's so all. That the federal can actually pardon me. That's the first thing that he can plead. That uh, if, if they pardon me, I can even leave here by next week. Do you understand? I don't have to wait till like uh, ending of next week. Okay. okay, so the man started the pardon. He said he wants to send it to the uh, Minister of Justice in Abuja. So, Minister of Justice will now 
send it to president to approve it. But you know Nigeria now, Nigeria with the corruption and everything. They take it fast to him. That the man they have to collect 10 million naira for him to yes, that that pardon will clear my name off the record of the record, which is not yes. bad. That which exactly. So you know, there's nobody to call because like I have friends, so but you know, you don't know who set you up. You know, and All right, so based on this first voice notes, based on Bobriski's narration in this uh, phone call, Bobriski is saying that Femi Falano collected 10 million naira in order to wipe his name off the record. Wow, these are people I respected, these are people I look up to. Fauzi, bad guy, always talking about, yeah, I'm speaking up for the people. So, you are also involved in things like this, it's really, really disappointing. It's obvious that Nigeria might not go anywhere anytime soon. It's obvious. It's in Nigeria. I have lost 100% respect. Respect for this. Unless if they come and come defend this one, sin a lie. But for now, uh, we we'll take what Bobriski is saying as the truth. Because Bobriski said all these things, like he contacted uh, somebody to borrow him money, and the person recorded everything. Now, uh, just in case Bobriski go on argue, let me drop your number. Uh, this is your number, eh? Now, nah, why? Uh... So, this is your number. Your number ends with uh 2208 that's what your number ends with so this is you actually you cannot deny anything so efcc i will expect you people to bring to do a deep investigation and bring all the people involved to the dumb out of justice if you know you truly fight against financial crime and this particular crime went deep down inside your own custody and it's really crazy and the controller general of prison i don't know I don't know what's going to happen, but it's almost as if, yes, I want to know the Godfather and why the controller of prison allowed them, instead of putting Bobriski in a correctional facility, they took him and gave him a lodge outside the prison. I don't know that it's allowed. I didn't know that was allowed. But anyways, there are more videos to come. Do you understand? This is just part one. First, part one. We'll see where part two they be. Don't play. <laughs> you got to learn and you will learn the hard way. I don't care. Don't play.